Translation converts the four-letter nucleotide language of RNA into the 20-letter amino acid language of proteins. The genetic code relates the sequence of nucleotides to the sequence of amino acids. The genetic code is practically universal, so for example a human AT3 gene encodes the same AT3 protein, whether expressed in goats, in bacteria, or in humans. Three different kinds of RNA are involved in translation. Messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA. Messenger RNA specifies the order of the amino acids in a new protein. A set of three nucleotides in mRNA codes for a single amino acid. Each group of three bases that encode an amino acid is called a codon. Ribosomal RNA combines with specific proteins to make up ribosomes, the minute bodies that support translation. Ribosomes are made up of large and small subunits. Molecules of transfer RNA carry single amino acids to the ribosomes and other translation machinery. Each tRNA has a three-letter anticodon that is complementary to an mRNA codon. The anticodon on the tRNA matches a specific amino acid attached at the other end of the tRNA. Translation involves four stages, initiation, elongation, termination, and disassembly. During initiation, four components of the translation apparatus come together. The two ribosomal subunits, an mRNA, and a tRNA molecule containing the amino acid methionine. The tRNA binds to the first codon in the mRNA. This codon, which is nearly always AUG, is called the start codon. Note that the tRNA contains the anticodon UAC. By the rules of base pairing, tRNA's UAC anticodon binds to mRNA's AUG codon. Because the AUG is nearly always the start codon, and AUG codes for the amino acid methionine, the first amino acid of polypeptides is almost always methionine. Elongation begins when a second tRNA, which in this case brings the amino acid tyrosine, floats to the translation machinery. Note that the tRNA's anticodon is complementary to the second codon on the mRNA. The tRNA anticodon binds to the second mRNA codon, and a peptide bond forms between the two amino acids, methionine and tyrosine. The bond between the first tRNA and methionine breaks, and the first tRNA is ejected from the ribosome without its amino acid. The ribosome now shifts ahead by one codon's length on the mRNA. The shift creates space for the third tRNA, which in this example carries the amino acid serine to diffuse in and bind to the third codon in the mRNA. A peptide bond then joins serine to tyrosine, forming a chain of three amino acids. The bond between tyrosine and its tRNA breaks, which releases the tRNA. The ribosome again shifts to the next codon, which creates space for the fourth tRNA. In this example, the fourth tRNA carries the amino acid asparagine. It is added to the growing protein chain in the same way. This process repeats hundreds of times to make a protein with a growing polypeptide passed on to each new tRNA. Elongation is amazingly fast. It only takes about 20 seconds to make a protein as large as AT3, which is 464 amino acids long. Elongation usually adds hundreds of amino acids before a protein is fully translated, but for simplicity we only show the first four amino acids of AT3 here. Termination occurs when the ribosome reaches one of three possible stop codons on the mRNA. Typically no tRNA is able to recognize a stop codon. In the case of AT3, the stop codon is UAA. The other two possible stop codons are UAG and UGA. When a ribosome comes to a stop codon, a protein called a termination factor binds to the mRNA ribosome complex. This stops elongation. No new tRNA to be passed to, the protein is released from the last tRNA. With translation completed, the ribosome and the last tRNA fall away from the mRNA in a process called disassembly. The translation machinery can disassemble and reassemble repeatedly, producing a variety of proteins from a variety of mRNAs.